Hey guys, in this video, we want to solve T of n using the Massa theorem. We want to prove that it's big theta of n times log to the power of 2 of n. So here I have the Massa theorem. It says if T of n is equal to a times T of n divided by b plus some function of n where a is greater than 0 and b is greater than 1, then we can use one of these three cases. So the first case says if the function of n belongs to big O of n to the power of c, where c is less than log base b of a, then our function t belongs to theta of n to the power of log base b of a. Case two, if the function of n belongs to uh, theta of n to the power of c times log to the power of k of n, where c is equal to log base b of a, and k is greater than or equal to zero, then our function t belongs to big theta of n to the power of c times log to the power of k plus one of n. And then case three, um, if our function of n belongs to big omega of n to the power of c, then, um, oh, I'm sorry, and c is greater than log base b of a, and a times some function of n divided by b is less than or equal to k times some function of n, where k is less than 1, uh, then t of n belongs to theta of f of n. So let's go ahead and solve this here. So we see that it's in the form of uh, the master theorem here. So our a is equal to 2, and that's our a there. Our b is equal to 2 as well. Our b is right there. Um, our function of n is equal to n times log n. Um, we also need to know our c value. So what is c and where did I get c from? Well, our c, if we look up here, we can see case two is, we, we can check if our function of n belongs to theta of n to the power of c times log to the power of k of n. So if we write f of n here, which I'm gonna do right here, I'm gonna say f of n is equal to n to the power of one times log to the power of one of n. And not only am I just saying this, it does, it's right here. <laughs> so you can see that these are equivalent and I'm just writing it in this nice form up here. So this tells us that our C value is right here, it's this one. So it tells us that our C is one. Okay, so that's how we got the uh, C value there. And now we need to choose a case. So let's figure out what log base b of a is equal to. So let's see, it's log base 2 of 2, which is equal to 1. And we want to check, uh, you know, log base 2, or actually I would say log base um, b of a, and we want to see if it's less than, greater than, or equal to C. So this is what we want to find out. And we can see that it's equal, right? So log base B of A is equal to one and C is equal to one. So that means that we're gonna use case two. So uh, case two says if F of N belongs to theta of N to the C times log to the K of N, where C is equal to log base B of A, and k is greater than or equal to zero, then t of n belongs to theta of n to the c times log to the power of k plus one of n. And so, all we have to do now is plug and chug. So we say our t of n belongs to theta of n to the c times log to the k plus one of n. And I did not write our k value there, so let me 
show you guys um, where we're going to get this k value from. So again, I'm going to rewrite f of n. f of n is going to equal n to the power 1 of log uh, to the power of 1 of n. And so right here, that's our k value and that's our c value. And that didn't really look that well. I'm going to rewrite that one more time. n to the 1 times log to the 1 of n. This is k. This is c. Okay? So our k value is 1. Let me make sure I write that here. And so we can uh, plug and chug again, like I said. We get theta of n to the power of 1 times log to the power of 1 plus 1 of n. And this gives us theta of n log 2 of n. And that's exactly what we wanted to show improve so thank you guys i hope this video was helpful i plan on putting a few more up about the master theorem um don't stress too much about the b and the a uh, some master theorems have the b being greater than zero some have it being greater than one and some have it uh, greater than or equal to two uh b greater than or equal to two would probably be more right here and um Thank you guys for watching. Uh, please subscribe and I see you guys on the next video.